टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फ्लो प्रोसेस एंड नॉन फ्लो प्रोसेस सो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फ्लो प्रोसेस सो फ्लो प्रोसेस इज वन इन विच फ्लूड एंटर्स द सिस्टम एंड लिव्स इट आफ्टर वर्क इंटरेक्शन सच प्रोसेस अकर इन द सिस्टम हैविंग ओपन बाउंड्री विच परमिट्स मास इंटरेक्शन अक्रॉस द बाउंड्री so you know that in the open system mass as well as heat interaction across the boundary now non flow process so non flow process is one in which there is no mass interaction across the system boundaries during process so look at the flow process once again it permits the mass interaction whereas in non flow process it does not permit the mass interaction so such processes occur in the system having closed boundary because of you know that in the closed system there will be no mass transfer now we'll discuss about the different types of the non flow processes so the question is classification of non flow process so there are so many types of the non flow processes first constant volume process is sometimes known as isochoric process second constant pressure process is sometimes known as isobaric process third constant temperature process or it is sometimes known as isothermal process and fourth reversible adiabatic process is sometimes known as isentropic process but sometimes instead of the reversible adiabatic process it is only Called as adiabatic process. So at that time you have to understand it is reversible adiabatic process. Because if it is reversible adiabatic process, then and then it is called as isentropic process. Fifth one, polytropic process. So these all processes that we are going to see in detail in the different videos on this YouTube channel. But before that, for the numerical portion, you have to remember the very important table. and in this table we are going to discuss about heat transferred work done change in internal energy and change in enthalpy so heat transfer that is denoted by capital q always work done is denoted by capital w change in internal energy that means du change in enthalpy that means dh so here the different process so as we have discussed constant volume process that is known as isochoric constant pressure process that is known as isobaric constant temperature that is known as isothermal adiabatic process that is known as isentropic process and last polytropic process so now consider the isochoric process that means constant volume process heat transfer is mc delta t constant volume that means it is cv specific heat at constant volume delta t that means temperature difference for the constant pressure it is same mc delta t but instead of cv it is cp that means specific heat at constant pressure in case of isothermal process heat transfer is p1 v1 ln v2 by v1 sometimes instead of ln log is used but at that time you have to keep in mind that log that is to the base e and so that for the calculation you have to multiply the log by 2.3 but for the calculation part it will create the mistake so you can remember it p1 v1 ln v2 by v1 because of for the numerical you can use directly the ln from the calculator and for the adiabatic process heat transfer is always zero that is very much important point can be asked in the viva in the competitive exams like that so always keep in mind that for the adiabatic process heat transfer is zero and for the polytropic process heat transfer that is gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1 into w where w is the work done during the polytropic process and you know that gamma is the adiabatic index and that is always 1.4 for the air now for the work done so let's start from the isochoric process and you know that work done that is pdv so pressure multiplied by change in volume but if the volume is constant 
that means change in volume is zero and so that your work done is zero for the isobaric process your work done is pdv dv that means change in volume for the isothermal process p1 v1 ln v2 by v1 and you can understand this for the isothermal process heat that is completely converted into work done for the adiabatic process the work done is p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon gamma minus 1 where gamma is the adiabatic index and for the polytropic process here only change instead of adiabatic index it is now polytropic index and that is denoted with small n and that work done is multiplied by gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1 then you will get heat transfer now it's done for the internal energy so let's start from the isochoric so you have to remember change in internal energy that is always mc delta t and this c that is also always specific heat at constant volume so that mc delta t that is unique for all the processes so i can say for the isobaric it is also mcv t2 minus t1 and here the temperature is constant and so that your delta t is zero so that for isothermal process change in internal energy is zero for the adiabatic process it is once again same mc delta t for the polytropic process it is also mc delta t similarly for the change in enthalpy that is always mc delta t but specific heat is at constant pressure so this equation is same for all non flow processes or change in enthalpy so here i can say it is mcpt2 minus t1 can you imagine that what should be the value over here that is once again zero because of you know that for constant temperature delta t is zero for the adiabatic process it is mcpt2 minus t1 for polytropic process it is also mcpt2 minus t1 so these are the very important formulae that you have to remember to solve the different problems related to the non flow processes in the examination thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video